Oh, hello, everybody. This is me, Horg, from uh, the Band Immortal. Isn't that fantastic? And wouldn't you know it, we just put out a new album. And it's called Northern Chaos Gods. And if you liked um, all of our other music, uh, especially Sons of Northern Darkness, well, you can listen to this one now. So it'll be all good. Um, this week's review comes from Agrofog. Uh, he put in the uh, hi, and then he put Abith, and so I'm assuming that he wants to listen to Abith. So let's uh, get to it, okay? Why not? Darkness, trees, isolation, and oppressive fog. Very foreboding. It's as if the fog is obscuring the truth that lies behind. I wonder what kind of underlying message Abith is trying to get across. There's Abbott playing his guitar out in the wilderness once again. It's as if he's saying, I'm one with nature. I'm one with truth. Here is my voice. Listen to my truth. Whose bones are those? Maybe they're those of an oppressor from a past that deserves to be forgotten? Is that what Abbott is trying to say? Two cosplayers meet up in the stars in an epic journey consisting of borrowing their parents' money, spending months out of their lives to make a Halloween costume. One, a very sexy Mega Man. The other, a non-gender specific Jack Sparrow. Culminating in a sexual experience one could only describe as like two pepperoni pizzas being mashed together from foot traffic at the mall food court. Ah, wolves. Very bold move from Abby. The iconography of the wolf clearly represents the aggressive nature of toxic masculinity feeding on the feminine representation in today's society. Through the power of cinema, Abbott utilizes a story technique enabling him to see through the lens of the true heroine of this story. She's taking a break between freshman and sophomore year at Arizona State University to find herself. Her dad wants her to major in something practical like accounting, but she's more of a free spirit, and she's veering towards creative writing with a minor in photography. Unfortunately, she started hanging around a metal band, lost all ambition, started hitting the pipe real hard, and now lives in the woods. I've seen it a million times before, folks. This is what hanging around metalheads will do. Oh, see, that's meth face right there. Yup. The lyrics might be about a bunch of mythical gibberish, but Abbott is really singing about the young woman's inner journey of self-discovery of her own sexual identity when confronted in a male-dominated forest scape, as represented by the band. It's very commendable for Abbott to make himself the representation of male oppression. As you can see here, the young woman is lost in the void of toxic masculinity each star representing a male oppressor keeping her in those woods. Although she might have broken her own chains of perception, the chains of the male gaze are ever present. Each link could be represented as an interwoven penis, weighing down the feminine minds and vaginas of society. Well, just when you think you'll have Abbott pinned down, he once again reinvents himself in this beautiful ode to women and gender equality. With this video, Abbott solidifies his already remarkable stature in the realm of feminism and feminist theory. This subtle critique of gender and sexuality in today's male-dominated society really shows how far we have to go. Winter Bane will go down as an important milestone in feminist theory, and Abbott's contribution will not be forgotten by the millions of strong, passionate women that look up to him as a leader and innovator in the feminist movement. Okay, well, that's it for um, the horror reviews. Uh, write whatever you want down in the comments, and maybe I'll review it next time. Who knows? Maybe if you like um, some bath towels or so, I could review that. I could review a bath towel or a hamburger. Um, oh, and please, for the love of God, uh, like and subscribe and share these videos so that uh, the more of them could get made, because I think that the guy that makes these, he... Uh, doesn't make any money off them and he's poor and he would like to um, spend more time doing this and um, he, he just can't get to it when 
um, these assholes making little video game shows, and uh, these take like three weeks at a time to make, so it doesn't make too much sense, but he'd like to do it more often. Uh, so, um, yeah, share and like, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll review something later. Bye.